My name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 57. Today we'll talk about how to convert, we'll learn how to convert fractions into decimals into percentages. Let's look at the first problem. As I always remind you, after I set up the problem on the blackboard, it's actually not a bad idea for you to pause the video and try to do the problem yourself first and then compare your work that you have done yourself against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Always do that without my having to remind you every single time. So here's the first problem. Number one, you're being asked to convert 5 over 125 into decimals, into decimals, and percentage. Let's see what we can do. 5 over 125. Well, very first thing, very first thing we have to understand, that's something that we have talked about many a times, is that whenever you have to convert any fraction at all into a percentage, your job should be to try to convert the bottom, the denominator, somehow at the bottom we want to get something uh, we want to get, uh, we want to have in the bottom a uh, hundred or something that comes very close to one hundred. Because uh, what, regardless of what is on the top, as long as we have something, at, uh, some, uh, as long as we have hundred at the bottom or something close to hundred, then it's easy to figure out the percentage in the decimals. But even before that, but even before that, even before we wonder, worry about how to convert this one twenty-five into a hundred, what we notice here is an exception situation, which is that the fraction that is given to us. It's actually, it's not in its most reduced form. The fraction that is given to us is not in its most simplified form. If you come across a fraction that is given to you in a something other than the most reduced form, our job should be first to reduce it as much as we can. So let's do that. We're going to divide, we're going to divide top and bottom by 125 because 125 is a multiple of, one, multiple of 5. So let's divide top and bottom by 5. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. In other words, we want to, we want to divide 125 by 5. I'm going to do it here first, and then we'll do it here so that it's easier for you to look at it this way. How many 5's how many in a 1? One? 1 has no 5's. That 1 goes and joins the 2 becomes 12. How many 5's does 12 have? 12 has 2 5's. 2 5's are 10. 2 5's are 10. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 5 and becomes 25. 25 has 5 5's. So it turns out that the 125 divided by 5 is exactly 25. We're going to do that here also. So let's divide top and bottom by 5. 12 has 2 5's. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 5 becomes 25. And 25 has 5 5's. And the, bar and the top just becomes 1. The rest is very easy. Now what we realize is that what we have here actually is something very simple. 1 over 25 as we have. And converting the bottom now into a 100 is a cinch. Let's just multiply both of them, top and bottom, by 4. If you multiply top and bottom by 4, we are not changing, we are not changing anything. We haven't changed anything. We're simply taking 125, 1 over 25. We're simply taking our original fraction of 1 over 25 and simply multiplying it by 1. 4 over 4 is 1. Multiplying something by 1 doesn't change its value. And, but we do it, we, 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 it's a very special one. It's 4 over 4 is what we need because 4 times 25 now is going to give us our 100. So we end up with 4 over 100, which the rest is very simple. It's simply 0 0.04 or if you like, 4%. The answer is 4% or 0 0.05. Let's do one more, shall we? Next one, on your own. Where's the next one? Convert 7 over 125 into percentage and in decimal. Now when you have given something like this, 7 over 125, that gets a little prickly. That gets a little bit more tricky because we can no longer reduce it. This one here we got lucky. Let's see what we can do. Do it yourself first. Pause the video if you like. Do it yourself. Try to do it yourself. 7 over 125. Our job is to get 100 in the bottom as quickly as possible, as efficiently as possible. So let's do that. Yeah. 7 over. 7 over 125 is what we have. Since we want 100 in the bottom, well, let's introduce 100 in the bottom. There we go. Now we have 100 in the bottom. Now, since we since we multiply the bottom by 100, we have to do the same thing with the top. And we're going to leave that 100 alone because that was the whole point. The whole point was to get the 100 at the bottom. Let's see what we can do with this 100 and this 125. Let's divide top and bottom by 25. If we divide top and bottom by 25, 100 has 425 
and 125 has 525. So what we end up is 7 over 5 times 4 over 100. 7 over 5 of course is the same as 5 over 5 plus 2 over 5 times 4 over 100. 5 over 5 is just 1 and 2 fifths and 2 fifths is just 0.4. So it's 1.4 times 4 over 100 which is just 0 0.04. The rest is very easy. Let's find out what 14 times 4 is. 14 times 4. And even this part, we don't actually have to do it out. We simply have to realize that 15 fours are 60. I hope you know that. I hope you know that 15 times 4 is going to be 60. Because if you double the 15, you get 30. And if you double the 30, you get 60. 15 fours are 60. We don't have 15 fours. We only have 14 fours. So 14 fours got to be 4 less than 60, which is 56, which, which, we can, which we'll see in a second here. 4 times 4 is 6. Carry 1. 4 ones are 4 and plus 1 is 56. As we said before, 14 fours are 56. So that's what this is, it's 56. With the decimal point that is here. And now we worry about moving our decimal point. 1.4 has one decimal place, 0 0.04 has two decimal places. One decimal place and two decimal places, we need to move our decimal point here. Three places to the left. One, two, three. It's going to end up here with a zero in the front. So the final answer is, the final answer is 0 0.056 which is same as 5.6%. That's it. That was the final answer. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Convert 5.6 into percentage. Convert 5.6 into percentage or decimal if you like. Well, 5, 6, 5, 6, of course, is the same as 4, 6 plus a 6. 4, 6 we know, 4, 6 we know is simply 2 thirds plus a 6. And 2 thirds, how do we write 2 thirds? 2 thirds, well, before we worry about 2 thirds, let's talk about 1 third. 1 third is simply 33.3333 percent. 33.3333 percent goes on and on forever, which of course can be written as 33 and a third percent if you want to get the precise answer here. We want we we're not worried about one third. We want we want two third. Two thirds should be twice as much. So two third is going to be twice as much. If you want two third, you want multiply that by two, multiply this by two, multiply this by two, and you end up with 66 and two times one third is two third or 66.66 repeating. This is going to be 66.6666 repeating, so on and so forth. So that part was easy. That part was very easy. It's simply, it's simply two third. Two third is simply 66. Two third is simply 66 and two third percent. What about one sixth? One sixth is a tricky one. So what, what, watch, watch what happens. One sixth one sixth, I, ho I hope, one sixth, I hope that you know, is simply a half of a third, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth is simply a half of a third. Half times one third. One times one is one, and two times three is six. As you can see, if you take a if you take a one third, if you have one third, and if you take a half of it, half of one third, half of one third is one sixth. So one sixth has got to be half of this amount. One sixth has got to be half of this amount. Thirty-three point three 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 half of that amount. Let's find out what that is, shall we? How many? How many? How many twos does three have? Three has one two. Three has one two. The remaining one goes, enjoys the three, becomes thirteen. Thirteen has six twos. And then our decimal. The remaining one goes, enjoys the three, becomes thirteen, and thirteen has six twos. The remaining one goes, enjoys the three, becomes thirteen. Thirteen has six twos. The remaining one goes to three, enjoys thirteen. Thirteen has six twos. The remaining one goes to enjoys the three, becomes thirteen. Thirteen has six twos. As you can see, it goes on forever, just like before. One six is a sixteen and point six 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 percent. 
which can be written as which can be written as 16 and two third percent. 16 and two third percent. Okay, keep watching. Watch what happens. 16 and two third percent. I need the room now, so we need to raise this part. But that's what that is. Six, one six, one six is simply one six is simply sixteen and two third percent. So here we have sixty six. Here we have sixteen. Sixty six and sixteen. We get two carry one. We get eight. We get eighty two. And then we have eighty two plus we have this two third plus we have this two third. This is what the answer is. 5, 6 is 82 plus 2 third plus 2 third. But 2 third plus 2 third is 4 third. 2 third plus 2 third is 4 third. Of course, 4 third can be written as, 4 third can be written as 3 third plus a third percent. Which of course is same as, this is the 1, so which is 83 and 1 third percent. 5, 6 is 83 and 1 third percent. 5, 6 is 83 and 1 third percent. The question is, how could we have found this, found this out in a more straightforward way? How could we have figured out this, this answer quicker? Well, the answer is here. What we have to realize is that 5, 6, 5, 6, let's do it on the side here. 5, 6 is simply 6, 6 minus a 6. Of course, 5, 6 would have to be 6, 6 minus 1, 6. 6, 6, 6, 6 we know is 100 percent and 1, 6 we just found out is 16 and 2 third percent so it's 100 minus 16 and 2 third percent well we can't subtract 2 third because we have no, no fraction here so let's put 3 third here and turn that into 99 we're going to write 100 as 99 and 3 third percent 99 and 3 third percent is same as 100 percent, 100 percent minus 2 third percent, which is same as 6 6 minus 1 6. 3 third minus a 2 third, 3 third minus a 2 third is going to give us a third. And then 99 minus 16, 99 minus 16 is going to give us 83. There you go. And that's our 5 6. And that's our 5 6. 5 6. If you want to find a quicker way, instead of doing all this thing, if you want to find a quicker way, 5, 6 is simply 100 minus 16 and 2 third percent. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.